Tipping Tip. All right, now we got some really, really wide cars in the collection. Koenig specials, ABC exclusives, all types of different MAE wide bodies. But this right here is something that we don't see every day. This is a custom built R129 straight out of Germany. So this car was originally from Japan and made its way to Berlin where it was given this wide body treatment. This is all metal wide body fenders in the front and a wide body treatment in the back that's also all metal. We have Brabus instrument clusters, Brabus door sills, Brabus parts all over, including a Brabus suspension, which makes this car glide like no other, even though it's so wide. You have some super deep dish custom wheels on this build, uh, presumably from Japan, but they are custom made wheels just for this car. And like I said, this is one of the widest cars in the collection, it has blacked out um, grill, blacked out tail light, and it looks incredible when you see it. When we found this car originally in Germany, it had a matte paint and it had some weird funky red looking wheels. We got our guy Anthony out there to make the car look like this, which has the beautiful gloss paint. He worked with the guys out there to get it looking right. We redid the wheels and also has a very nice exhaust. It gives a nice note. So in Germany, they have a lot of, a lot of strict rules for automobiles on the road, especially with exhaust system, wings, uh, wheels, they all have a lot of very strict restrictions on these things in Germany. So I doubt this would pass any type of conformities out there. This would not conform to anything street legal in Germany, especially not the wheels, especially not the wing, and especially not the blacked out taillights. I know that has to be illegal out there in Germany. And of course the exhaust system, the exhaust node is not um, conforming to German rules and regulations. We can only imagine what type of human had this type of car out in Germany. Somebody wild, somebody who liked things their way and didn't really care about breaking the rules. We like those type of people. So that's what the Patina Collect is all about. It's about breaking rules and setting new trends. And that's definitely what these builders were doing when they built this R129 with this extreme wide body. So uh, we're gonna park it up right now and take a closer look at what it looks like to have one of the widest SLs in the world. Now, one beloved design for Bruno Sacco is definitely the R129, one of the most timeless designs he ever created. But whoever built this car said, you know what, I want to take his design and take it to the next level. Now, we've seen Koenig special versions of this car in different builders, but we've never seen one quite this wide before. This car was built in Germany, Berlin to be exact, by our friend Hakan. This car was built with fully metal front and back wide body. Had no expense building this car as you can see right here they molded the front bumper with the front fenders making it seamless wide body something never seen before on the r129 custom deep dish wheels front and back let's take a closer look at these custom made deep dish wheels sitting on 265 35 and these are 18 inch wheels right here but they fit perfectly whoever built this car like i said he did a perfect job at aligning it to the wheels and it never rubs when we found this car, like I said, it was all matte and it had some red elements in the wheels. So we had to bring it back with the chrome. As you can tell, the builders that built this car went crazy and they spared no expense. They molded everything here to give it a seamless look that ends up right here at this extremely wide back quarter. And of course, we see this preposterous wing put right here by the original builder of this car. And it is of course a Koenig special wing. You guys seen it on a lot of the builds, but you've never seen it on R129 before. I don't think anyone's done it. And this is probably the only one in the world that has it, but it looks amazing. Walking to the back of the car right here, you see these blacked out tail lights that were definitely not street legal in Germany. Nonetheless, the builder added them right here. We have this very nice exhaust system that gives beautiful notes. This car originally was found in a matte paint, which gave it a dull look. So what we did is we took it to the next level and brought it back to this original glossy look to accentuate all of the lines in the wide body. Now this R129 right here has the extremely wide fender flares in the back. It 
it gives it the look of a Porsche RWB build, of course, from Japan. And this car was originally from Japan and imported to Germany for the work that was done on it. Stepping inside this custom build, we find a lot of bits and pieces from Brabus, including the instrument cluster that was confirmed to be original by the original owner. Also, we have the Brabus door sills and a Brabus emblem on the hood and even Brabus suspension system. As you see guys right here, we have the all blacked out grill that looks immaculate on this all blacked out car with the Brabus emblem right in the front. Very beautiful custom made bumpers that are molded into the Y body and that obviously goes into the rest of the body, all molded all around. So whoever built this car was out of his mind. Shout out to Hakan, he's our brother in Germany and we're looking forward to more builds from our friend. Definitely happy to have it here in Florida and it looks amazing under these palm trees. It is a stock 500 SL, has a stock motor, but it still drives very, very perfectly and has lots of power. So let's take it on another cruise and let's see how it looks under these palm trees once again in the kingdom of Boca Raton.